Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and today I am filming my May wrap up for you guys along with um, a couple little like bonus surprises. So as I mentioned in I believe my May TBR, I didn't think I would get a lot of reading done this month. Oh the birds are so loud. Um, I would get a lot of reading done this month because it was my finals for the first two weeks, and I was rather correct about that guess, which is why I have some surprise stuff that I'm also going to be um, showing you guys in this video. But yeah, I decided to film outside because one of the reasons I didn't get a lot of reading done is I moved this month. Um, some of my previous videos you saw that too, but I've been continuously moving in things, and I spend a lot, I moved really far away from where I go to work and school, so I spend a lot of time staying at friends' houses and things, and so I just don't get as much time to myself recently, so I haven't gotten a lot of time to read, and then the first two weeks of May were all finals, where I almost, like, jumped off a cliff because they were so difficult. I literally had to write five or six essays in a week and a half that were all at least five pages. I literally wrote like 45 pages of essays in two weeks, which is kind of ridiculous. So like, it was a stressful time. And then the week after finals, I honestly just spent decompressing and trying to like come down from all of that horror. I did get quite, um, I think the bulk of my reading actually was from that time, but then I just wanted a break from everything. So I kind of took that. But let me just get into the books that I did finish this month. So I read Ceremony by Leslie Mom and Silco for one of my classes. I had to read this whole book in like a week and a half, which wasn't too bad. But um, this is a really, really good book, actually. It's very difficult to understand if you don't understand how Native... American writing works as um, a lot of the ways that um, Native American authors represent their culture is represented in their writing, so there's a very different way of writing. The timeline of this book, there actually isn't one because Na Native Americans believe that time is fluid, not in a straight line, so you have to deal with that, and then just like a lot of very um, tough concepts. But this book is about a half Native American, half white boy who grew up on the reservation and was raised by his aunt because his mother um, was not fit to take care of him. And he it, it takes place after he gets back from war, Vietnam War, and his brother, well his half brother had died in the war, and it's him dealing with PTSD, which at the time this was written was not... A thing it was called something else and it's him trying to recover from everything he's gone through but also like finding himself in healing himself and his people through a ceremony because they're all like being poisoned slowly by hatred and things like that so it's actually a really really good book and I kind of recommend it's a book that everyone should read I think it's one of those books that like goes in the classic categories of everyone needs to read because it's so life-changing. I really do agree with that, and I think that you guys should definitely pick it up if it's interesting. It's just at a higher reading level, so. And then the next book I read is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. She's the book, she's the author who also wrote the book, um, is it Circe? She's an amazing author, though. She takes Greek stories and retells them and her writing is just so beautiful and it really fits with the way I imagine um Greek mythology stories like there's just this beautiful whimsical background with all these like dark stories and she really brings um life into her characters so it, you, I assume you guys know the myth of Achilles, but he was the best warrior in the world, and he fought in the Trojan War, and it was prophesied he would die in it. And this book is from the point of view of his best friend and lover, uh, and you see them grow up together, like you see them meet, become friends, grow up together, and fall in love, and you see how their love um, impacts Achilles' story. 
and it's just so good. It made me cry because you know how it's going to end and it ends horribly, especially if you know the myth, you really know how it's going to end. And that's like a lot to deal with, but I think it was very beautifully done and I really enjoy it. The next book I read was Two Can Keep a Secret If One Is Dead by Karen M. McManus. This is the author of One of Us is Lying, which is one of my favorite books of all time, so I pre-ordered this book and I had to read it. I think this is the first book I've ever actually pre-ordered, so if that tells you anything, I, I really enjoyed the first book by her. And I do think this book is really good. I'd give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, it's not as good as her first one in my opinion, but it's just because it's a different plot and it didn't shock me as much as her first one. Her first one really shocked me, and I did not expect anything, and I still didn't expect a lot of this book at all, but um, it doesn't have the same shock factor as the first one. But this book is about uh, two twins that move to their mom's hometown when their mom goes to rehab to stay with their grandma, and their mom never talked about this town, refused to ever, like, acknowledge it really because she had had a twin sister as well who actually disappeared and when they go back to this town um there five years ago there was a murder of another teenage girl and now there are threats that the uh, next homecoming queen is going to get killed as well so there's like a lot of like things and mysteries and uncovered secrets coming up in this book and it's really really good like I love the it's like a small town feel but it's like a more like rich people small town feel which is actually a very different uh feel to it than a lot of towns if I'm gonna be honest because when I think of a small town I don't think of rich so like that that kind of enhanced the story actually it made it really interesting but there's just like a lot to uncover in this book and I really enjoyed it that was like the worst description I don't know I'm out of it I haven't filmed for a long time give me some space but I think those are the only three books I read this month I read a lot but like didn't finish reading like I read a lot of um non-fiction books and I've been reading through those so I didn't like finish them because I just read them at leisure but I have been doing a lot more reading actually um than like is represented here I read a lot actually of other books and I listened to an entire season and a half of no sleep which is a podcast and if I put that into books because they're all short stories that's like two and a half more books right there because that's like that's like well that's like 30 hours of reading so that's actually like three and a half books but you know it's fine I think I did do a lot more reading than it seems that I did I just didn't read a lot of like physical books but I am very proud of what I got done because I've been wanting to read the Song of Achilles for forever I bought it because I love Greek mythology and just reading that was a great experience and I really really have been wanting to pick this up so this is another book off my TBR for the year that I wanted to get through that I read in a book that I was super excited to read and I'm just I'm very happy when I get those kind of books done I also want to tell you the book that I'm currently reading because I'm probably going to get pretty far in because there's still another day of May and I feel like I'll get a lot more reading done but I'm reading The Raven King by Nagy's Steve Otter this is the fourth book to The Raven Cycle and I'm um, about 75 pages in it's getting really good I always forget how amazing Maggie Steve Otter is until I start reading her books it takes me a second to get into them but her writing is so whimsical oh I have the hiccups guys <laughs> Her writing is so whimsical, and honestly, I really enjoy whimsical writing, I've realized, so I get really into her books. I was just reading a little bit earlier, and I'm really excited to see how this all ends, because it's the last book. I know it's going to be horrible. But then the other little mini thing I have for you guys is a mini book haul. Uh, I went to Goodwill the other day, like Goodwill shopping with my friends. I actually bought this shirt, which is really cute, and I love it, and I bought a couple other shirts. And then I found some books, which is always exciting, because they're so cheap, and I found books that I would, like, really want to get. And the one I was most excited about finding was Night Film by Marcia Pizel. Pizel? Um, this book I've been wanting to read for, since I started watching booktube, it was pretty popular when I first started watching booktube, so the fact that I found it for, like, a dollar and nine cents is pretty amazing to me, and I'm, I'm like, the most excited about this book, and it, it's so beautiful, and I really can't wait to read it, 
this book is a from it's a multimedia book so it has different like it will have like articles and like web pages and things like that in it but it's the main character is a journalist who has written about this um uh, what's a director who makes these really creepy creepy films and he actually got blackballed in the industry for what he wrote about the director and recently the director's daughter committed suicide so he decides to investigate her suicide as he thinks it's a little suspicious and hoping to get unblackballed so apparently it's like a like the main character is really selfish so I think that'll have an interesting impact on a story like this but I think it'll be really cool because um I know it'll be a really dark, kind of, like, disturbing book, as that's the sort of movies that the father loved to write about, and I have a feeling his daughter's death will kind of be dark and disturbing as well. The next book I got, like, I think it's cool that I found it, and that is, um, The Crimson Crown by Cinda Williams China. This is the fourth book to the Seven Realms series. I just recently read the first book in the Seven Realms series, I am, I believe... If I'm correct about that. So when I found it for like a dollar and nine cents, I had to get it because that's just how this works. I want to see like a list of the books. Why can't it just be easy to find that? I can't find it. But yeah, I'm pretty positive. The first book is The Demon King, right? Yeah? Yes, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, I'm like 100% positive it is actually. So yeah, so I just recently read The Demon King. So I do want to eventually collect the series. So even though this is the fourth book, finding it in a hardcover, pretty exciting. And then the last book I got from Goodwill is The Red Queen by Philippa Gregory. If you guys uh, watch my videos, you know that uh, I do really enjoy historical fiction. And my favorite historical fiction book I've ever read is The Other Bowling Girl by Philippa Gregory. So I have been slowly collecting all her novels. I've only read two of them, and the other one I read was... Um, it wasn't The Queen's Fool. It was um, uh, The Queen's Lover. I believe. I did not like that one as much, but it was more like the story wasn't as interesting as the other bowling girl, but I am really excited just to get more books from her, and this is like book two, I believe. I think like the White Queen, it's the Cousins War book two, so I think like the White Queen might be first or something, but I do think I have that one, and finding the book in our cover just made me really happy, so that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, really want to read a lot more in June. Actually, I'm setting a goal for myself to read eight books in June. That's two books a week, and that's my goal. And if I'm really trying, ten books, because you know what? That's cool. So I am going to try and read eight books this June. Hold me to that. I'm going to really do my best. I definitely think I should, because all I do is work, so I have the time. I just got to make myself do it. So, I love you all so, so very much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a like down below, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye!